So in the news, they're talking about body positivity and all the rest of it. And Liz Truss calls out Nicola Sturgeon as an attention seeker. Well, who'd have thought? I mean, let's be honest. Nicola Sturgeon is not known for her looks. I believe that her nickname at school was Seaweed because not even the type would take her out. Kids can be cruel. However, this is a woman whose entire career has been hating upon the English. She is actually a racist. She detests the English because she sees all of Scottish problems and woes and anything else that goes wrong in Scotland literally as the English people's fault, right? Now, how is it our fault? So, we, in some way, capitulate and give a devolution, as you did Northern Ireland, and they did it to uh, Wales too, and we hand power, to an extent, back to them. You would think that this would be a good thing for Scotland, and maybe, if it had a decent set of management, it would be. However, on reflection, when we look at things like education, that under her watch, has got worse and worse and worse. Well, I could give you a few reasons for this. A, she's shit, but B, they're pushing, pushing Marxist doctrine and they're teaching kids about that they can be any gender they want and all the rest of it. You know, so when they're filling their, their kids full of stuff like that and they're not actually getting down to the nitty gritty, this is science, this is maths, this is English, then these kids aren't expected to do well, are they? In fairness, I mean, how would you expect a kid to fly through his exam results when you've taught him it could be a fucking Rotarian spatula? I don't know. But it's not just that. Under her watch, the drugs epidemic has gone through the fucking roof. But that's not the end of it. There are numerous other parts that have gone to the wall since we gave out more power. Now, I don't think it's just strictly there. I don't think that, that Wales has done it massively brilliant but hey English people are bad right and we need to take back power now she keeps banging the drum that she wants independence great there's a few things that you need to think about here my little lovely that you owe a stupid amount of our national debt that you would have to pay back because reasons and then the other thing is you want to get part of the European Union well they actually kind of want people to join them that actually have money. They don't want to take any more debt burdens like yourself. And given the fact that when you don't have <coughs> the help of England, Great Britain, the union that you are now, when you don't have that, how successful do you think you're going to be? Hmm? Because I do believe that you have all these ridiculous pie-in-the-sky ideas of what you're going to demand and how you're going to get it. I mean, take the currency, for instance. You think you're going to keep the pound? No. Sorry, sweets. If you fuck off, you don't get to keep the silver. No, no, no. You would have to then go make up your own currency. Or you'd have to go beg into the European Union. And if they did take you, you'd have to take on the euro. And then ask how many come or ask the countries that took on the euro just how well that worked out for them. I can tell you now that it didn't work out very well for them, but you'll have to work that out for yourself or find out the hard way as they did. And then you'll have more and more to carry your north. But the moment that you get part of the European Union, okay, I would imagine that in a very very short space of time, your people will realise that just the, just how badly you fucked them in the ass, and then you'll be up the road if you're not up the road quicker than that actually because as a, a puppet that's been put in a place to try and break up Great Britain, the union that it is okay, once you've helped to do that, you'll be up the road you'll probably end up being a laughing stock, people will look back at you as the leader that helped to fuck Scotland imagine that, still you, uh, you take advice off people that kiss your ass and you actually believe that you're popular I've spoken to numerous people, because of what I do, from Scotland, that think you're an absolute detestable bin. And that was put it politely. That wasn't their exactable words. But some of them are just, well, we weren't happy, let's put it that way. But hey, interesting. And all of this, I'm getting off talk radio, and fuck me, isn't that slanted? And do you know what? One women pundit come out, she said, I don't like to see this kind of 
having a pop at others on there. Women have, these women have had to go through more to get where they are. Really? Sorry, bitches. You were, you were nothing more than a box ticker, especially Sturgeon. And, and how many backs did she stick knives in to get where she, are, she is? I mean, I don't like Alex and Salmon, but go and ask him. No, she has been the most ruthless been going, and with the help of diversity quotas and box ticking, she got the first minister. Oh my God. Mind you, really, it's not much of an accolade. I mean, go look at Northern Ireland, or Ireland, or whatever you want to call it. To go to Northern Ireland. First minister's a fucking terrorist. <laughs> Jesus. So it says that you've got to be a real absolute out and out shit out to get to these positions. Or a builder burger if you're Boris. Or whatever. Anyway, as I say, tick the box, tick the bell, like, share, and subscribe. See you soon.